jokes. I'm going to tell everybody the jokes. So did you hear about the band 999 Megs? No. They never had a gig. Yeah. That's pretty good, huh? We should open with a joke every day. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. That's our joke for the day. Clean jokes. Clean jokes are the best. Okay, so here's the deal. I've been saying this a lot lately. For real estate agents and lenders, you have what I call a micro problem. Here's what it comes down to. You want to close two more deals every month consistently. That's it. That's it. Just if you can do that, deals. 24 more transactions per year, two per month, boy, wouldn't that be great. It'd be great. This entire industry is geared towards selling you a macro solution to your micro problem. Yeah. Meaning you have to have bigger lists, more views, lots of clicks, lots of funnels, lots of drips, all that crap. Right. Which is very, very impersonal and does not reflect your best commodity, that being you. The best way to solve your micro problem is with a micro solution. Interesting. That's where you highlight your best qualities yourself within your community and it also doubles because it helps you fight against the big aggregators out there, the Zillows and the Rockets of the world. Right. Now, if you want to learn some great micro solutions to your micro problem, Problem, yeah. which is zigging when the rest of the industry is zagging, right. all you have to do is jump into our free, yes, free, live, live webinars that we do every single day of the every week. Day. Okay, it's all day long. So yeah. all you do is jump on, check out our strategies. Just down below, man. And if you like them, do them. If you don't, don't. Start with uh, LO Mastery with Listing Booster right down below. And just sign up. Just click the day, the time you want, and you're good to go. Free. Solving a micro problem with a micro solution. Right. How you know, interesting. Interesting. And I want to be very clear. These are our strategies that we do with real estate agents and lenders, and they're all tried and true. So check it work. out. Yep. They work. All right. On with the show. By the way, I want to tell you, I like clean air just as much as the rest of you. And sure. I want clean air just yeah. like the rest of you do. But this is defies logic. Here we go. California is making solar panels mandatory. That means you have to do it on all new construction um, by next year. No way. <laughs> yes, I swear to God, you didn't know this. So California in the news again. Yes. <laughs> so yes, every house is gonna have solar panels. Huh, interesting. Awesome. I like it. The state says it will only add 40 bucks to your bill, which what? is super cool. That's that's your payment, excuse me. Okay. And that's because they oh, say oh, that to your payment. Yeah, that's because they say that putting these solar panels on all these houses out here in California is only going to cost 8 to 10,000 bucks to install. They're wrong or they're lying. Right. Either way, same result. Right. This is what's happening, Frank. Let me guess, the contract's going to Diane Feinstein's husband or something. I've been looking that up, I'm sure it is. Oh, by the way, I'm sure it is. It probably is. Average solar installation on the high end, which is what California is, is like $42,000. It's not like $42,000, it, it is, is. $42,000. And, and that means they're just a little off in their estimate, like, I don't know, what, 400% too low? Yeah. Very typical. Yeah, Very it is. Typical. Unaffordable California, as we all know, is about to get more unaffordable. Now, didn't we just say yesterday that 58% of California residents want to leave because the state's too expensive? This should help with that! Golly, you said nobody ever! Oh, by the way, Frank, not to mention, the functional obsolescence that solar panels represent after about five years. Putting, oh, yeah. it's, you know, solar's great, I told you, I want clean I like air. It. I like it. Putting solar on your house and thinking that you're going to have the solar panels for 30 years is like buying a computer and saying you're going to use it for the next 30 years. Kind of true. Even if it holds up, advancements in technology are going to make both obsolete after about five years. It is really true. True. It's totally true. Yeah. So we should also put, you know, I don't know, maybe CD players in a permanent surround sound system in all these new <laughs> homes as well. That makes about as much sense. Now, before you laugh, okay. if our state, California, is dumb enough to do this, your state is dumb enough to follow suit, more than likely. So where is the clearly thought out agenda for our state? I mean, we're like an impulsive eight-year-old with our policies. By the way, it passed unanimously, of course. Now, I bring this up because I was just down in Tucson, Arizona with Tony Ray. Yeah. And that city has a commitment to art. That is what their policy is. So yeah. everything has to have some form of art whenever you're building anything. It is really beautiful. And it reflects in the city. Yeah. Like the city understands what it's trying to accomplish and it's setting out with that agenda. Into California, we're just all over the board with everything. Oh, I right. want that. Oh, I right. want a pony. Right. Jennifer Miller. <laughs> I'm coming to South Carolina. I swear to God, I'm part of those 58%. This state, I'm telling you, California is going to be like the grapes of wrath in reverse. True. Get me out of here! Realtors, don't don't you have a say in this? I, uh, I, I, I'm done with this story. Frank, just move on to something else. All right, well, hey! Do you want to see how much things have changed? Go to the CFPB's Twitter page. Yes, Yeah. they have one. 
okay? It looks like they've been neutered. Snip, snip. All they post is a bunch of cotton candy PSAs. Nothing biting PSAs. or bout enforcement. It's all changed. <laughs> well, that's great to know, PSAs. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I got a PSA for all of you people out there. What's that? Don't be a POS. Uh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, let me explain this. Let me explain this. All right. I had a conversation with a real estate agent a few days ago. Right. And um, we all know that within every community, and this is lenders, this is everybody, but right. within your community, yeah. there are two or three people who don't work problems, they create problems. Uh, yeah. And so they're true. difficult. So and I understand people being mad or angry, but not spitting venom. Now, if we were to sit down and figure out which agent spit venom in Solano County, I'll yeah. bet you, me and you and every other lender in Solano come, County would come up with basically the same yeah, names. That's true. Now, the problem with this is, is you can go ahead and sully your career if you choose to, but what happens is, is it sullies your profession when you choose to be venomous when you have a problem. It kind of does. And this is something that happens in every community, everywhere around the country. Right. Now, one of the problems for an agent is if you choose to spit venom is you need to understand that lenders also now have the opportunity to generate leads as effectively if not more in some cases than real estate agents do so when you do this it hurts your opportunity to work with a peer-to-peer -peer loan officer who's going to help make your career right. look better but the bigger problem is is that when we choose to spit venom we give a bad reputation to our chosen profession and it's you true. hurt your real estate agents or lenders to the right and left of you so if you have a problem and you're frustrated try to manage your frustration and don't spit venom work the problem don't create a problem because we all see this in real estate and lending and it's not good for anybody and by the way being a little bit kinder in life is just a better way to go about things so here's a great exercise that you can engage in right now to really focus your kindness to others okay the next time you go to a restaurant yeah and you get the wrong order whatever it may be if yes. you get frustrated be kind to that food server yeah. Just be kind. Be nice. Because that's going to help you in your journey to being a better salesperson. Because we all want to work with happy, kind people. Absolutely. Nobody wants to work with negative people. No. And there is an element of this in the real estate and lending community. So my PSA is don't. You get the rest. <laughs> all right. Well, leave us your comments down below. Do us a favor, forward, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you later here at the Nash Real Estate Post. Bye. See ya.